Yo what's up guys, in this video I'm going to give you some of the best CS2 console comments that you can use at the moment. Some of them will help you with the FPS, minimize your luck or just make the game feel more smoother. Now enjoy the video and make sure to watch to the end so you don't miss any useful comments. The first one we are going to start with is vprof underscore off. vprof is a visual profiling tool that runs in the background while CS2 is running and collects information in order to optimize the game's performance in the long run. Unfortunately, if you are particularly CPU bound, then just having this running can result in reduced performance. Second one we are going to check out is cl underscore auto help zero. This console command disables the automatic contextual hints that appear in the game, such as you have the bomb, take you to the bomb site and so on. These hints are distracting and pointless once you understand the game. Disabling them can actually have a marginal performance effect for lower end machines. A lot of players want to see their FPS in CS2, so this command will help them. Type CL underscore show FPS 2 or 3. If you enter parameters 2 or 3, you will see the out information on the screen, similar to what NetGraph displays in CSGO. This setting will not be useful for FPS or luck, but it's really useful to see how your PC is doing in the game. Next comment can be used to uncap or cap your FPS and the comment is FPS underscore max. This comment limits the maximum number of frames per second. Setting FPS underscore max zero removes the limit of FPS in CS2. Use it with cautious and knowledge as it won't magically add extra frames per second but might affect your computer's stability. However, it's the best to have your FPS not capped, you should only cap your FPS if you're starting to see screen tearing and possibly ghosting on your monitor. Next command in the list is CL underscore disable ragdolls. Ragdoll physics in CS2 is a feature in the game that allows players to interact with bodies in a more realistic way. This means that when a player shoots an enemy, the enemy will fall down in a more natural way and move as a real person would. The removal of ragdoll collision physics has created some controversy among Counter-Strike 2 fans. Some players believe that this feature made the game more realistic and fun to play, while others players believe that it's a distraction from the core features of the game. So if you want to disable the setting, type CL underscore disable ragdoll 1. This comment will disable the ragdoll physics of player corpses, freeing up a little bit of CPU draw if you are playing on an old CPU bound machine. This command is personal preference but it might help on some old PC and it's the command cl underscore height underscore avatar underscore images 1. This command as you can imagine disables the avatar images for players in CS2. Disabling them can help you boost your FPS if you are playing on more old PC. CL underscore crosshair underscore friendly underscore warning zero. If you really want to make CS2 as lightweight as possible for your PC, you can use this command to remove the friendly fire warning that appears on your crosshair when you aim at a teammate. You'll see a little bit of boost in your performance, but it's not that big of a boost. Demo underscore flush zero. This command will probably not make a big of a difference, but it might be good in some situations. Essentially, it stops a particular process from writing data to a file with each network update. And now I'm going to show you how to set up an auto access file in CS2 so you don't have to type all of these comments every time you open the game. First, go to your CS2 directory, usually located in the folder Steam, Steam it, Steam. Generate a new text file and rename it autoaccess.cvg. Ensure the file extension is cvg and not text. Open this file with a text editor. Now it comes to adding the comments. Each comment must go on a new line. You can add as many as you want. For example, you can set fps underscore max 144 to cap your fps in the game. After that, go to Steam, go to CS2. Then to properties, go to launch options and make sure it's plus access, space, auto access, plus CVG and again space. And this is the way you create an auto access file. So yeah guys, I hope you enjoyed this video. Make sure to like and subscribe for more content like this and see you in the next video.